hopefully everybody can see the screen, hear me okay. Um, if you do have any audio or video uh, issues, uh, let me know in the chat. I'll be trying to keep an eye on that. And I, I'm going to do my best to leave time at the end for questions. So uh, we have a lot, of, lot to get through. So I probably won't be pausing during the uh, session to answer questions, but I'll leave time at the end. Um, so I'm going to be sharing uh, one of my top indicators uh, that can forecast markets up to three days in advance. And I'm going to throw in a second indicator. So we're actually going to be looking at two of my top indicators that I use in combination uh, in our session today. So I'll kind of walk through what they are, how they work, and we can look at some charts together and things. Uh, before that, I'll read a just a quick disclaimer. I won't go through the whole thing, but um, we're Altos Trading. So we're uh, an educational company. Um, that's everything that I share today is intended to be used as information. Um, you obviously decide how you use that information in your own trading or investing. Um, it may include opinions to, as to buying, selling, holding uh, stocks, other securities. Just know that uh, we are not brokers or investment advisors. We don't provide uh, you know, specifically tailored investment advice to an ind any individual. Um, we don't accept responsibility for any decisions that any traders uh, make using any of our products or services. Um, and of course, we know that trading involves uh, risk, right? So just you need to be aware of those risks uh, before you, um, you know, risk your hard-earned capital in the markets. So uh, with that out of the way, I'll give you a quick background on myself. So again, I'm Jeff Tompkins. Uh, great to have you guys here. Uh, pleasure to be here. And thanks again to David for uh, having me. Um, I have over two decades of experience trading the stock options and futures markets. Uh, I received my professional training at Morgan Stanley as an intern at the Trade Desk uh, back in the early 2000s. Uh, and about nine years ago, founded Altos Trading, where I'm the chief investment strategist. We have over 60,000 members in over 100 countries across the globe. Um, I'm also a hedge fund manager, so I do manage uh, money for my clients at Altos Capital. And in fact, the two indicators that we're going to be looking at on our session today are indicators that I use uh, inside my hedge fund for trading decisions. Um, and we're going to be so digging into that here momentarily. Um, uh, I'm the founder and creator of Z the Zillion Signal software. So we're going to be looking at a really cool dashboard um, and then specifically uh, two proprietary indicators uh, built in. Um, so the dashboard is Zillion. Um, this is, again, our proprietary dashboard. I'll be walking you kind of through what it does um, the really cool features and benefits that come along with it, and then the indicators, and we'll uh, dig into the indicators and what makes them unique and and powerful. Um, so the the intention here is to give you a roadmap to more accurate trades, um, to try to eliminate as much of the lagging component um, that we're vulnerable to with most of the indicators out there, um, and actually use forward looking uh, forecasts um, to make trading decisions. So the unique thing about the indicator we'll look at that's built into the Zillion dashboard uh, called Trade Trend um, is that it gives us buy and sell signals up to three candles in advance of the trend. So if we're trading off of a daily chart, we have up to three days of advance notice of the forecasted trend direction, the exact entry price. Um, and then if you get into a trade based on one of the forecasted signals, it also has a component of the algorithm that provides trailing stops that reads the market in real time, gauges uh, you know, trend direction, momentum, um, volatility, and helps manage the trade as it plays out and moves, you know, moves in your favor. So if you when you're in a successful trade, you're not wondering how long do I hang on, hold on to this uh, and you know, risk it reversing on me and watching my profits get wiped out or uh, jumping or getting out too early, right? and then having the trade continue to go in your favor and leaving money on the table. Um, so we're, we'll take a look at that because that's obviously a, a common issue that we all face in trading. Um, it can help us forecast short-term and long-term trends with astounding accuracy. So we, we, we'll be looking at uh, probably some different time frames and things, but just know this is all fractal. It, it, it can be applied to any style of trading. It can be applied to any time frame. It can be applied uh, to any asset class. Um, so equities, ETFs, futures, Forex, crypto. Um, and there's also a, a really powerful scanner built into this. So there's a scanner that can find these forecasted signals um, and then line up with the other indicator that we'll look at as well. Um, 
so again, any time frame that, you, that fits your trading style, um, it, none of this repaints. Uh, so if you're not familiar with what that means, a lot of indicators will repaint. In other words, they'll print a signal or something on the chart. And as the market changes, the signal might change. Um, and this is often a reason for when you look back uh, on a chart, you know, historically uh, at a specific indicator, it looks really good. And you, you know, are led to believe that if you actually place trades based on what you're seeing historically on the chart, that you would have done really well. When you go to use it in live market conditions, the results aren't what you would expect. And that's often due to some degree of repainting that the indicator might do. Um, so we've eliminated that. Um, it helps us capture most of the trend before it reverses. Okay. Um, so uh, it's a really powerful algorithm and uh, indicator that can help us uh, get in early on a trend and out uh, before it reverses. Um, it's also designed to limit losses and let profits run. So of course, with any indicator, uh, there, there are going to be losing trades. Um, and the idea is to have a positive expectancy. So over the long run, you make money. Um, and that's, uh, you know, I think what this indicator does uh, very, very well. Um, it, it can obviously be used with any other indicator or system. Um, so if you're already using indicators that you like or that are working well, um, it's great for added confirmation. Um, and as I mentioned, we're going to actually be looking at a second indicator uh, and how to use these in combination um, and ultimately remove the guesswork. Uh, so we're not wondering, um, you know, which direction is the market going to go? Uh, am I going to get it? Even if I get that direction right, am I going to get in too late and miss a lot of the trend? Um, and this is where the, the critical component of having um, forward looking uh you know, a forward-looking forecast or some degree of advanced notice uh, before you actually get into the trade. Um, so these are, the, the indicator gives us advanced trade signals. Um, so as I mentioned, it helps us identify market moves up to three bars in advance. Um, so again, off a daily chart, you'll have up to three days of advanced notice of a forecasted trend direction, the exact entry price. If you're a day trader, let's say trading off a five minute chart, you'll have up to 50 minutes of advanced notice. Um, it also, can uniquely filter signals with the second indicator we're gonna look at, uh, at today uh, called the divergence cloud. So the divergence cloud is a really powerful indicator also built into the Zillion dashboard. Um, and, and as we get over to, into some charts here momentarily, I'll show you how these uh, work really well together. Um, and they give us advanced entry notifications. They give us extra precision by requiring market move to follow through. This is critical and I'll be uh, elaborating on this more as we get deeper into the session. Um, but uh, the, the, the idea is we're not go going to get in when we think the market's gonna go a certain way um, without there actually being confirmation of the move. Um, and so the, the indicator helps us there as well. Um, and then, as I mentioned, it gives us adaptive trailing stop um, levels. So when we're in, in a successful trade, um, it will help us manage the trade based on what the market is actually doing at that time, you know, without it, a single bit of lagging information. Um, so can, that can help us obviously maximize our winning trades and get out of uh, trades that aren't going to work out early. Okay. Again, that's the, that positive expectancy. Um, so I'm going to go get it over into the dashboard here in just a second um, and kind of walk through what's, what, is included because there are actually a lot of indicators uh, built in here um, and a lot of really cool features. Uh, so you get expert commentary. So I, I post expert, expert commentary, major market um, events, uh, Altos events that we do, we do with our members. That will all be in that expert commentary section. Um, you get a really nice overview of the market. Um, you can look at the market sentiment, the market risk, um, current short, medium, and long-term trends, the uh, overperforming and underperforming sectors. Um, and then you can review whatever you're interested in trading uh, that as we'll look at here in just a second. It could be equities, ETFs, uh, futures, Forex, cryptocurrencies, um, and then scan. Um, so um, when we look at the advanced charting, so 
the dashboard uses the latest TradingView charting library. So it's a really robust, um, powerful charting library with all the really cool features if you guys are familiar with TradingView. Um, it comes with access to the two indicators that we're going to be looking at on our session, Trade Trend and the Divergence Cloud. Um, but it also has more than 300 other built-in indicators. Um, it has an abundance of drawing tools. Um, you can do chart, share charts, uh, make annotations, um, and they're all saved within the dashboard. So like when you leave the dashboard and come back, um, it doesn't wipe them clean unless you decide you want to do that. Um, we also have broker integration. So this is really cool. If you um, we're, we're always adding new brokers. Uh, this is something we introduced not too long ago into the dashboard uh, and currently have integration with Tradier, Thinkorswim, and TradeStation. So you can actually place your trades within the dashboard if you have uh, one of these brokers and monitor your open positions, get your account snapshot, and do it all within the dashboard. Um, if you trade with another broker, that's perfectly fine as well. Uh, you can get all the signals from the indicators and obviously go into your uh, broker platform and place your trades. Um, but the, the nice thing is um, you automatically automatically get real-time data from your broker. So whatever your broker's data stream is um, gets ported in and um, you can load any any uh, symbol or ticker that your broker has available. So really cool integration. Um, there's an advanced trading panel for placing trades directly in, in Zillion. So that would be with the broker integration. Um, you get market limit and stop entry order. So you can choose what type of order you want. Um, you can do your stop loss and profit target levels to manage the trade. Um, you can view all your orders, open positions, um, your account balances directly within the dashboard. Um, so we're, we're gonna uh, now kind of get into the scanning component because this is where you would look for the forecasted uh, directional signal. So that would be either a buy signal or a sell signal um, within the scanner. Um, so this, it's a next generation scanner. It's, it's incredibly powerful. Um, it literally within seconds will find all the forecasts in any you know market you want to search in. Um, and we've got a couple things that I'm going to uh, emphasize a little bit uh, here as we go over into the actual dashboard um, that are built into the scanner, one being profit factor. So I'll be talking a little bit about profit factor. Um, it shows us win rates. Um, it can rank and sort signals and focus on the most promising ones. Um, and that's where we're going to be looking at the combination of the trade trend indicator. So on the, on the uh, scanner screenshot you see there where it says sell, um, those are our forecasted by our sell signals. And then you'll see a number by it. That just indicates how many days ago the signal came in. Um, and in this case, these are pending signals. So they actually haven't uh, triggered or hit the suggested entry price. Um, and then we can see that we can line those up with the divergence cloud indicator, um, which again, I'll be getting into in more detail. Um, but you can quickly filter uh, scan results. You can do so by volume, divergence, percent change. We have a lot of really cool things in, built into the scanner. Um, you can also create your own custom watch list within the Zillion dashboard. Um, you can scan for intraday entry signals if you're a day trader. Um, so you can change time frames. Uh, you can quickly review your, your portfolio if you have broker integration. I also post a, uh, which I'll, I'll be uh, revealing to you as well, a personal watch list. Uh, so I update that uh, every Monday. Uh, and you can uh, see what I have in my watch list as well. Um, we also have a, an alert functionality. So this is something you can turn on or off within the dashboard. Um, and you can take one of your watch lists and any symbol in there that uh, has a buy or a sell forecasted signal um, can automatically be emailed to you. So you get an, you can get an email alert for anything in your watch list. Um, which is a really cool feature if you're not, you know, at your desk all day in the dashboard. Um, and you can review any changes to symbols that are of interest to you, right? So it's uh, not set in stone. You can change that whenever you prefer. Now, this gets really cool. So um, this is pro probably up near the top where Trade Trend and Divergence Cloud reside, one of the most powerful. Uh, indicators of the dashboard that I really haven't seen in other uh, trading platforms or uh, charting dashboards, which is a, a statistical performance 
um, section that actually tells you the historical best days to trade any single, again, it could be a stock, an ETF, Forex pair. It will tell you the best days historically to take buy and sell signals, so a long trade or a short trade. Um, it'll tell you what the historical win percentage is based on separating out, you know, whether it's a long or a short trade. Um, so you can really hone it in here and uh, decide, you know, which day historically is the best day to, because every, every uh, asset obviously has its own kind of cyclicality or personality. And, and uh, that's what this indicator uh, reveals. So it tells us for that very specific asset, what days are uh, historically more, more successful um, for buy and sell signals. Um, so it gives you the best time to trade. Um, it can help reveal if there's a long or short bias uh, for that particular symbol. Um, again, it gives you the win rate, the PL, um, the profit factor, how many trades it's based on. So, really cool uh, feature as well that we'll be looking at. Um, you also get um, some really cool features that help navigate market environments, right? So, it's customizable. So based on your trading style, based on the market environment um, and a number of other factors, you can customize this, okay? You can also download it to Excel if you wanna download a watch list um, and have that as reference, uh, you can do that as well um, and get the stats by trade direction. So whether, um, let's say you're tra you trade stocks and you don't, want to or just don't or maybe don't have the um, approval broker approval or whatever it is want to short a stock so you're only you know go, taking long positions in equities right um that would be how, what you would want to obviously look at you'd be looking for buy signals um and you can customize that as well within the scanner um so this is a really powerful uh tool and again we're going to get over to it here momentarily to help us spot trends in advance. Um, and it spits out some really incredible trade opportunities. Um, I'll be talking more about these, um, but these are actual uh, real world examples of the forecasted um, trade trend signals that we've sent out to our members. Um, so like $750 uh, trade on EXAS, only two days. And a lot of these, by the way, play out very quickly. Um, $950 on a uh, team in one day, uh, 580 on XLC, only two days, over 1,300 um, on SPXL, uh, just two days, over 6,000 on BLK, three days, over 167 on Cisco, three days. Um, and, and I'll point out here that um, these come with supplemental options alerts as well. Uh, so I send these out every Monday night. So I, I do, you know, run all my scans, look for all the trade trend signals. Um, and again, I'll be walking through that process here in just a second and also provide a supplemental option alert. So if you guys trade options um, and prefer to trade an option in lieu of the stock or the ETF um, that's in the alert, you have that um, ability as well. Um, so let's go ahead and get over into the dashboard. I'll kind of walk you through um, what it includes, and then we'll start looking at the indicators. Um, so that it, it's uh, really nicely laid out, easy to navigate. It's just one page. Um, and so we've talked about some of these features. We'll just kind of start at the top here, where it gives you the, um, the major indices and the current short, medium, long uh, term trends. And you can hover over those to see uh, how long those have been in place. <clears throat> Moving to the right, um, this is where you can set your signal filters. Um, and this is where, uh, when we look at both indicators in combination, trade trend and the divergence cloud, you can decide if you want to filter signals based on those two, uh, indicators lining up. Um, so here's where you can, uh, if you, uh, have one of these brokers and again, we're, we're constantly adding new brokers. Um, this is a relatively new, uh, feature of the dashboard. Um, 
again, cur we currently have Thinkorswim, TradeStation, Tradier. Uh, if you trade with any of those brokers, you can connect right up, place your trades within the dashboard. Um, if you trade with a different broker, you can obviously use all the tools, get the forecasted signals, um, and connect to our uh, quote media integration. Um, so you get real-time quotes. Uh, so, you know, again, if you're an intraday trader, that would be important. Um, that's automatically included with with the dashboard. Um, there's a number of settings you can you can um, adjust here. But let's move down to some of the main features uh, where, as I talked about a minute ago, commentary and events. This is where I post um, any major uh, you know, market announcements, things to keep an eye out for. Um, we do live uh, member workshops uh, on a weekly basis. Uh, we're actually, normally we do them Tuesday nights, but I'm right at this time, but I'm here, of course. So we uh, moved this week to tomorrow night. So I'll let, also be letting you know how you can join us tomorrow night. Uh, but this is where you find all that. Moving to the right, this is where we have our market sentiment gauges. So at a glance, you can you can see what the risk reading is in the market, um, what the overall uh, market trend is. And this is these uh, gauges are based on, so like looking at the trend and the buy-sell ratio on our indicators. So as we look at the buy-sell ratio, which currently resides at on the sell side at 28%, it's kind of right um, on the edge of sell and, and neutral tells us that um, we have a higher ratio of forecasted sell signals in the over 5,000 symbols uh, that you can access in our in our database. Okay, so there's more, uh, it's a great way to like really gauge the market sentiment, the bias. Uh, and if you're like me, I'm a contrarian trader. So I try to kind of uh, take an approach that might be uh, opposite of what these gauges uh, are telling me, for instance, risk, right? So when I see the risk, um, and this is referencing volatility, uh, specifically implied volatility, um, when I see it on the low side, I look at that more from a contrarian perspective and know that, well, actually, we know that volatility contracts and expands. And so if it's in a contractionary period, it uh, is going to then transition into volatility expansion. We're going to see that risk gauge rise, and that would coincide with a a, a market sell off. Um, so really, really uh, nice gauges here to determine kind of the overall market bias and sentiment. Uh, next is sector performance. So this is where um, you can see each day what the top performing sectors are, um, and also the underperformers. Uh, and the cool thing is you can actually just click on these. Um, and it will automatically, so this is real estate, which is our uh, top performer. Uh, the ETF it references is XLRE. And if you click on it, it, it populates all of the individual names within that, uh, within that sector and specifically that ETF. So all you just need to do is click on there and it will also populate your chart. Um, I'm going to go back to the uh main scanner here okay um okay so now now let's look at the scanner um so this is where uh you would and and again there's you can filter change what your scanner's uh running uh customize your watch list okay so um this will all be found here uh, we have a lot of symbols in the database. So um, even at, right now, we're just looking at the entire database, um, which is over 5,000 symbols. Um, so obviously, if you you want to probably narrow it down, but if you want, you can run these all on the entire database. Um, so it's going to give you your ticker, um, the asset class, the name, um, current price, um, one day percent change. And again, you can filter all these. Okay? Um, if you want to sort by any one of these, they're all sortable. Um, the volume. Here's where you're probably going to really want to sort. So this is where it gets into the indicator. Okay, so these are the trade trend buy and sell signals. So like if I want to look at um, the current sell signals for today, I can click the sell column and sort. Um, and I'll get into the uh, into the indicator in a bit. 
Um, but again, you'll notice numbers by these, and that's where it tells you whether the signal is still pending, um, triggered. And like, for instance, there's a, well, there is a pending cell signal um, on uh, ANIX, uh, there's an open buy signal um, and it's been open for nine days. So actually you can just click on this um, and you can see, and actually the cell signal triggered today. It was pending and then just triggered. Um, so now the buy signal is uh, is out, is taken out. Um, but here it was back here. So this was the forecast July 5th. Um, and uh, that, that was uh, two days prior to the triggered entry that which uh, came in, well, two trading sessions prior, came in uh, July 9th on the trigger. Uh, so it gave us two days of advance warning before this nice uh, move up. So you can click on any of those. Um, and then you have your divergence cloud. So that's the second indicator we're going to be looking at here. Okay. Um, the, the divergence cloud, and, and that'll show up on your chart, as I'll show you here momentarily, um, is either green or red. Okay. So green would be bullish divergence, um, meaning the indicator is forecasting, a, you know, an uptrend or red for a bearish divergence and where the indicator would be forecasting a downtrend. The last column is the profit factor. Okay, so you can sort by profit factors um, as well. And the profit factor basically tells us that taking every single signal into account, um, how profitable, um, and I believe it goes back five years or so, um, the buy and sell forecasted signals were. Um, anything over a one is good. It, it, it means that there's a positive uh, expectancy. And if you took every single signal and managed it with the trailing stop, um, you would be, would have been profitable over the, that five-year period. Um, anything over two is incredible. Anything over three is outstanding, amazing. So you can see, um, there's some pretty high profit factor numbers in here. And uh, also a great feature to help sort trades to look for the symbols that that uh, the indicators do really nicely on. Um, so that's the scanner. Now let's get over into the charts. All right. So um, I'm actually I'll just go back. I think I had Apple pulled up. Just go back to Apple, um, and let's look at the indicator, the signals, and how to how to read them and trade place trades off of them. Um, so right now, there's not uh, a current open signal on Apple. Uh, we just recently had a nice buy signal, a couple nice buy signals. Um, and you'll see at the top here, it says no trade. So there's no pending signals. Um, if there were, and we'll, we'll pull one up that has one um, so I can demonstrate that. Uh, but it will tell you um, whether it's a triggered or pending signal right up here. And if it's a pending signal, what price to... Uh, get in do you want to take a trade off the signal so, and what type of order you use it gives you all the information um, let me just go ahead and expand this uh, chart here and uh, we'll take a look um, so right now there again there's no trade trend signals on apple at the moment um, and there's also no divergence cloud um, so uh, not a whole lot happening right now uh, with apple as far as that goes but uh, again there were some recent signals so we'll just take a look at those um, there was a, a, so I'll explain the symbology first. Uh, you'll see diamonds. Okay. So that's our forecast. This is where the, what set, one of the things that separates the indicator from other indicators out there, where if you get a signal, typically you just got to jump in and hope for the best, right? The trade trend indicator actually gives us advanced notice. So the algorithm in this case, uh, this buy signal on uh, Apple on July 2nd, forecasted a move up in the stock. Um, now, when this pending uh, buy signal comes in, it, it and again, I'll switch to another chart where there actually is a pending signal so we can I can demonstrate that. But what it's gonna do is give you a suggested entry price and an order type. So you, if you want to take a trade off the signal, you go ahead and place the trade with your broker. Um, and again, if you, you have one of the integrated brokers, you can do that right out of the dashboard. Um, and then wait for it to trigger or not trigger. Some signals don't trigger. 
um, which I'll also sh uh, show you here. Uh, but in this case, it did. Okay, so Apple on the next trading day, July 3rd, moved up and hit the suggested entry price, moved in the anticipated forecasted direction. Uh, nice nice uh, run up here in the stock um, from where you would get in. So that's the, the buy here you see, obviously. Um, you know, looking at probably looks like roughly like a 40 or sorry, 20 point move and just this one little signal. Um, so, so nice, nice signal. We had a couple other really nice buy signals. Um, and then you'll notice there are horizontal red lines here. Those are your trailing stops. So if you went long on this buy signal from July 2nd, and again, you had it one day of advanced notice, you would have gotten in, um, in this, uh, long trade in the next uh, trading session, July 3rd, you can then, um, trail your stop up and this this trailing stop will print after each candle so you know exactly where to place that trailing stop to manage your position um in this case uh and of course you can place pro profit targets uh kind of use this or, uh tailor it to your trading style um so you can certainly uh place a profit target uh some of our members just use the trailing stops um, because they're very powerful. This, the algorithm is incredible. You can see the very last one here, um, right around 232. Um, if you prefer not to place a profit target and try to capture most of the trend before it reverses, um, would have been taken out right after Apple rotated lower. Okay, so um, obviously, if you didn't have the trailing stop algorithm uh, and you still kept the position open, you would have suffered... Uh, uh, you know, a pretty bad reversal in the position, you'd still would have been in profitable territory based on uh, today's close, but it would have wiped out a lot of um, your open profit there. So that, that's the nice thing about the trailing stop um, here on this bias thing, you can see as well. Um, here is where the algorithm uh, tightened up the, the, the stop before we had this four day pullback and then a resumption of the uptrend. Um, so that's the trade trend indicator. Uh, there are also... So again, the diamonds are forecasts. So diamond below is a buy forecast. Diamond above is a sell forecast. Not every forecasted signal will trigger. So here's an example. Here was a sell signal, right? And we did have a, a significant uh, down day back on June 10th here. Um, the entry would have been just below the low of the candle. And it's valid for up to three candles. So you can see actually the very next day we got a buy uh, forecast. Um, so Apple continued in its uptrend and never went down within the next three candles. We're looking at a daily chart here. So that'd be the next three days, um, and hit the entry. So this is a, just an untriggered signal. Um, so now let's look at, uh, the, the divergence cloud. So you'll see it here. I'll zoom out a little bit. Um, there are red and green clouds on the chart. Uh, zoom out a little bit more, okay. And what that what that uh, indicates is um, price and trend divergence. So when there's a green cloud, um, there's bullish divergence, and you can take buy trades. Um, and then if you take a sell trade within the green cloud, um, those can still work out nicely. Or conversely, a buy trade in a red cloud. Um, but you're you're aware that you're trading against the trend divergence. So um, what I like to do in terms of lining these two indicators up and using them in combination is take buy signals when there's a green cloud or bullish divergence and take sell signals when there's a red cloud or bearish divergence. Uh, and that's where these two indicators become a real powerhouse when you can line those two things up and again you can uh, as i pointed out uh, filter that within the scanner so you can look for sell signals with um a bearish should be I just scroll down here um yeah i'd have to go to the next page but um within a bearish divergence cloud okay or no cloud so like here i sorted but um, we'll have, we'd have to scroll to um, subsequent pages to get to the bearish divergence clouds that line up with the sell signals. Um, but you also can just take a signal in the absence of a cloud as well. Um, so going back to the chart, just kind of sh show what, show you what I mean. 
um, here on October 31st, there was a buy forecast, okay, right at the bottom of this uh, downtrend, followed by a triggered entry. So the algorithm forecasted a move up, got it correct. Um, and there's bullish divergence. So beautiful signal here. Um, actually, let me, I'm going to go ahead and take off these. I also have the Bollinger Bands on there just so uh, clean up the chart a little bit. Um, so buy signal and triggered entry next trading session, November 1st. Okay, there's the move up. Now here we have a transition from a from bullish divergence to bearish divergence. So we go from a green cloud to a red cloud. Um, we get a sell signal. Uh, this was uh, forecasted three days prior to the trend reversal. Um, that one came in December 18th and triggered on December 21st. Um, and these can be really powerful signals when uh, you get a shift in divergence. In other words, like in this case, a green to a red cloud and then a corresponding sell signal. Um, and then we had some very nice sell signals on the way down. There was a buy signal in here. It actually, that was a great forecast. Um, it uh, gave us one day of advance notice of this uh, up move, but it didn't agree with the divergence cloud. So this is where when they're not in agreement, um, again, based on your preference or trading style, you can take those as like a counter trend trade. Um, I generally just build my trade or, or plan um, for a quick directional move versus a, a sustained trend when uh, the divergence cloud and the trade trend indicator aren't in alignment. Um, so this is still a nice move up, um, but the real, the real big move was back down as Apple rotated lower and gave us some really nice forecasted buy signals on the way down. Um, then again, we get a shift from bearish to bullish divergence and another nice buy signal. Um, so that's how I line those two indicators up um, to find opportunities, um, high probability opportunities. Let's take a look at a pending signal. So I just... I'm going to pull up the first one here. I'm actually not even familiar with this. Logic Biotherapeutics, L-O-G-C. Um, so notice that uh, where I pointed out earlier, there's buy and sell instructions. So there's obviously no, no current buy trade or buy signal open, but there's a pending sell signal um, on Logic Biotherapeutics. This one came in uh, yesterday, July 22nd. Okay, so this is a pending so signal. It hasn't triggered yet. Um, it looks like we just exited bullish divergence. So there's currently no um, bearish or bullish divergence, which is fine. Um, but if I want to take a short position off of this um, forecasted sell signal, and again, I can see that that is a pending sell signal um, up here at the top of the chart, I then would go to the uh, suggested entry price the algorithm calculates uh, in this case 576 so what i could do is place a sell stop order down at 576 and now we didn't get the trigger on the first day so we have two more days so here again we're looking at a daily chart for this trig signal to trigger and again for that to happen LOGC has to come down into that 576 level. So this is, of course, built into the algorithm. But I think a very underutilized and powerful entry technique, uh, the bulk of orders people place for directional trades are going to be market or limit orders. And not that there's anything wrong with that. It might... Uh, makes sense for a variety of reasons. I prefer to use buy stop orders for forecasted buy signals and sell stop orders for forecasted sell signals. That way, if um, there's no follow through, right, in this case to the downside, then you just don't get into the trade. If you entered on the forecast without the follow through into the uh, price level the algorithm suggests, um, then and you know, say use a market order or maybe 
expect some degree of a re, uh, re retracement uh, in the case of a sell signal back to the upside to try to get in at a, uh, a, a higher price or better price. Um, there's a risk to that because there may just not be follow through. So by using a sell stop order here at the level that the algorithm gives us, 576, it has to follow through for the trade to trigger, for us to get into a trade. Um, and the, the great thing about that when you're trading directionally is you're essentially in, uh, in profitable, uh, a profitable situation right off the bat, right? Because you're getting the follow through. Um, it could certainly still reverse. Uh, it just is much less likely um, the way that the algorithm uh, forecasts and reads trend direction, momentum, volatility, et cetera. Um, so again, here's an example. Uh, this one, this was a sell signal back on uh, February 26th. Fantastic sell signal. It, it actually didn't align with the divergence, um, at least on that day. The cloud eventually, uh, as you can see, lightened up and there wasn't much bullish divergence. Um, taking place, uh, but it didn't trigger, meaning that within the next three days, we didn't get follow through into the suggested entry price level. It happened a little bit later. Okay. So the, the forecast was still spot on. Not only did it give us the sell forecast near the top of this um, big gap up in the stock um, before it reversed, uh, it just didn't do so within the allotted three candles. So you can still trade these if you prefer to, um, but the algorithm is designed to have these forecasts valid for the next three candles. Okay, and again, so like if you 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 can go to an intraday chart, um, a five minute chart, it'll be they'll be valid for the next three candles, and um, if we don't get the it doesn't reach the uh, suggested entry price, you can just go ahead and cancel out the order and wait for the next signal. Uh, this is kind of a crazy stock. It looks like it uh, is maybe low volume the way that it moves intraday. Um, but in any case, uh, yes, you can uh, use intraday timeframes. Uh, so in this case, you'd have up to 15 minutes of advance notice uh, prior to a potential triggered trade or follow through in the forecasted trend direction. Um, okay, so... Uh, the last thing is the statistics. So we talked about the statistical uh, algorithm here. I'll just stick with this this stock. Again, you, these are all um, can all be applied to whatever individual uh, stock you want to look at. It gives us trade performance by weekday. So this is where I was talking about. If we want to really hone in on any maybe price personality that that asset has maybe it just makes bigger moves um but this is this is on a particular day but this this is specific to the trade trend buy and sell signals so it's telling us historically um and in this case whether it's a long trade or a short trade so you can you can look at all trades which would be both of course or just look at long if you're only going to buy the stock take the buy signals and not short or short on its own as well. Um, but it, it shows us that for some reason, Monday is the best day to trade this stock with our signals. Okay. Um, still profitable Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, but this, for whatever reason, is when the stock seems to, uh, you know, make significant moves in the forecasted direction from the trade trend algorithm. Um, so, Really powerful feature there. It can really help you hone in on um, timing your trades, right? Um, it gives us a quick glance of winners versus losers. So this would be all the winning long trades uh, relative to the losing trades. Obviously, this stock uh, does is uh, very profitable with our signals. Um, all trades long, only short only. Um, and then it breaks it down for you here. So. Uh, um, I believe this is based on 100 shares. So this, if you traded 100 shares, this would be the uh, profit if you took every signal 
Um, it gives you the profit factor and it breaks it down for both long and short trades. So you can um, see in this case with this stock, both long and short trades are profitable, but the long trades are the ones that are really, really profitable. Okay, They have a profit factor of almost 31 and a half. The short trades still are profitable over one, 1 1.08 in this case, but not nearly as much as the long trades. And that could just be a, a factor of, uh, you know, having more buy signals on this particular stock. Um, it tells you the total number of trades that this is based on. So this uh, profit uh, dollar amount is based on 104 trades. Um, it gives you uh, the breakdown of winning versus losing trades uh, for both long and short winning percentages. Um, it gives you all that. So that's all in the statistics uh, section of the dashboard. So a lot of really powerful features, two very pow powerful indicators, the divergence cloud and the trade trend indicator. They're built into the dashboard. And I'm going to be telling you here uh, momentarily how you can get access to this. Um, and you get those automatically with the Zillion dashboard. Um, in addition to, again, over 300 other indicators. Um, and you can find those here in your chart. You have all the drawing tools. Um, you have, again, all of the indicators um, that you could ever probably imagine or want, um, certainly more than you could probably use, all within the dashboard. Um, so again, a lot of really, really powerful stuff. Two of my most powerful indicators, uh, and again, particularly when I use these in combination um, with each other and look for a pending buy signal or forecasted buy signal that lines up with bullish divergence, or conversely, a, a pending sell signal that lines up with bearish divergence. Now, I mentioned I send out every week on Monday evening. So we just actually, we have two new alerts uh, that went out last night after market hours. I go to work and I look for the, the top two signals that I think have the best potential for success and I send these out to our members. So that's what these alerts are. They're right off the, um, the dashboard using trade trend, using the divergence cloud. Um, and again, not only do you get the stock or the ETF, but you also get easy to follow instructions for option trades. So if you, again, if you prefer to um, uh, trade options in lieu of the stock, you have that flexibility. So you'll receive my top two zillion picks. I email those out to you. They'll show up in your inbox every Monday evening. So you get 104 a year, um, but you also get the dashboard. So you can find these uh, opportunities on your own as well. Um, it always lets you know at a glance whether to buy or sell. You're never left wondering um, whether to buy, sell, or even just stay out of the market. Um, and again, you get up to three days advanced warning of a trend. Okay, um, here are some examples of actual signals on the S&P uh, that line up with the divergence clouds. So some nice buy signals. And there was one day of advanced notice um, on this buy signal. Uh, the next one, you had two days of advanced notice on that buy signal and a beautiful uptrend with the trailing stop to manage the position. As the S&P started to stall out and roll over, we got a series of sell signals there. Um, in this case, these two sig buy signals that lined up with bullish divergence were good for 340 points. Guys, I used this these two indicators and I uh, used the powerful tools within the Zillion dashboard in my own personal trading account. Um, I do a lot of futures trading. These are um, real money screenshots from my Thinkorswim account using these two indicators. Okay, over $8,000 of profit in a day with over 27,500 in open profit. Um, there are some losing trades in here as well. Okay, what makes the indicator so powerful for me and my trading style is it 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 um allows number one allows me to capture most of the trend for it reverses on me um and if there is a, a losing trade and there always will be losing trades it gets me out very quickly so you can see my trades that weren't successful are contained right they're not major losses and if you look at them um, relative to my successful trades you can see the extreme difference between uh, open profit and 
in the successful trades and the one versus the ones that didn't work out where the losses are very contained. Um, now I'm going to get into a few other things that uh, I'm going to let you know how you can get access to as well. Um, Cause not only do you get the zillion dashboard with the trade trend and divergence cloud indicators built in with all the other features that we just looked at, you get the weekly trade alerts and we, ho we host a weekly session that I just mentioned. Uh, normally again, that would be Tuesday. Uh, we moved this week's to Wednesday. So you'll be able to join us tomorrow night uh, where we, I spend about an hour together, do a, a, an overall market analysis, um, and look at uh, uh, buy and sell signals. So we'll look at opportunities. And we also typically cover um, a new strategy uh, on the weekly session. So oftentimes we'll uh, focus on a specific option strategy and how to uh, trade that strategy around the trade trend signals, the divergence cloud. Um, so I'm on those sessions with you every week to help coach you. So I'm I'm there in person. Um, we You can interact with me, ask questions. Uh, we actually also usually wrap up with a ticker round table. So you guys can throw out tickers that you might be interested in trading or watching. Um, we can't give personal tr you know, trade advice, but we do an analysis together, look for pending signals, et cetera. So we've covered a lot of ground today. Obviously shared a lot with you, my top two most powerful indicators, uh, the success that I've had with them, step-by-step um, -step details of how the Zillion trading dashboard works, everything that's built into it that makes it a real powerhouse um, to add to your trading arsenal. Um, but now I'm going to invite you to check it out for yourself. So we have a really special invitation uh, for you guys today. Um, and I'll show you how to take advantage of Zillion. So we recently uh, launched the latest version of Zillion. Um, it's our Zillion trading platform. Um, and we have a very special charter membership for you guys. So it's a very unique opportunity to help you put the power of Zillion in your hands. And I, I, there's just nothing else out there like it that I've seen. Um, so we're obviously very proud of this. Um, and it's, it's uh, allowed me to make some really nice money in the markets that I don't think I would have been able to uh, achieve without these tools. Um, so my goal now is to help you become the expert trader that you wanna be um, so that you can not just be successful, which obviously we want, um, but I'm also going to teach you how to spot trading and investment opportunities on your own. Okay. Um, so ultimately the idea is to get you up and running, um, comfortable with the indicators, the dashboard as a whole, and be able to use it on your own to make trading decisions. Um, so to make that happen as quickly as possible. I'm going to reveal every one of my special techniques and indicators that make some of the uh, results that I've shared with you today possible. I don't hold anything back. You get you get the full functionality of all the indicators. Um, you get um, you know full access to the dashboard, all the other tools built in it, and a lot of other stuff. Um, education, live sessions, which I'll uh, reveal here uh, in a little bit more detail. Um, and as a charter member you get access to the proprietary Zillion platform. Um, so once you become a charter member here momentarily, um, you'll get access to the dashboard. You can start using it as early as tomorrow. It's cloud-based, so it breaks down the entire market in literally minutes. Um, you can access it on your phone, your iPad, um, a web browser on your laptop, your computer. It's all cloud-based. Um, so you'll get the login to the dashboard. You can go ahead and use everything that we've demonstrated today for your trading and investing. Um, the system updates. Uh, so you'll get real-time data if you want to do intraday trading. Um, there's also uh, end-of-day data, just depending on uh, you know what chart time frames you trade off. Um, but you get access to both of those. So you can actually watch uh, you know, in real-time signals pop up. Trades go from red to yellow to green so that you're not using guesswork to determine which uh, what the likely trend direction is. Okay, you get you get the forecast. Um, you can log in at any time you want, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, and you get a bunch of other stuff along with it. So I'm gonna go over that real quickly. Um, it's almost $12,000 worth of uh, education tools, indicators. Um, 
which includes unlimited access to Zillion. Okay. Um, you get my top two weekly Zillionaire alerts. Again, those go out every Monday uh, after market close. You get the live trade sessions each Tuesday. Again, we're uh, hosting this week's session tomorrow, since I'm here with you guys uh, when we normally hold the session. Uh, normally, we retail uh, our weekly sessions for five fifty. dollars um, You get personal coaching for me uh, each week on those live sessions. My personal coaching normally be starts at 1997 and goes up from there. Um, but again, I'm, I'm there with you guys each week looking at signals using the dashboard, using the indicators um, for equities, futures, Forex, options, um, whatever you guys like to trade, um, we cover it all. Uh, there are two really uh, valuable bonuses in the charter membership package. Uh, the first is the Zillionaire Strategies on-demand videos. So you get the training videos um, that walk you through all of the features, benefits of the, of the indicators, the dashboard, um, help, help you get up and running very quickly. Um, as well as my latest ebook, How to Create Risk-Free Trades, um, which is a, uh, a a really valuable book that goes through money management tactics to mitigate risk and even in some cases eliminate it from your trades um, that can be used alongside all the really great things that come with Zillion. Um, so again, the total uh, introductory uh, value of the package is almost $12,000. Okay, um, But I'm going to show you how you can get it for almost nothing compared to that. You'll be blown away. Uh, I'll get to that in just a second. Um, if you're wondering if this is for you, um, we designed this dashboard to be simple, intuitive, easy to use. Um, so whether you're just starting out or you're a veteran trader, um, we're confident that you'll, uh, you'll be able to use it effectively in your trading decisions. Um, it's, it's very user-friendly. Um, so whether you work a full-time job, part-time, maybe you're retired, um, it, it allows you to make very quick trading decisions because um, it it gives you all the information literally at the click of a mouse. You just need to put your order in. Um, regardless of where in the world you live, we actually have students in over 100 countries across the globe. Um, regardless of your account size, uh, that's obviously position sizing, um, risk tolerance, risk management, up to you. If you want to learn to trade on your own and really uh, be confident and consistent with your trading uh, process and results. We'll give you everything you need to to do that to get there. Um, if you just prefer to, you know, have us do the work for you and play just place the trade. That's all you want to do. That's fine. That's why we send out the two weekly alerts. Um, and I mentioned I'm a hedge fund manager, uh, and I've seen a lot of a lot of indicators in my over 20 year career, um, a lot of uh, trading tools. And I don't, I've never seen anything that comes close to this, but I've seen stuff that, you know, it was okay that it's sold to institutions for 20, 30 grand. Okay. And this is nuts. So when we, when we launched Zillion, you know, we it's it's hard to put a price on. It's very valuable, right? So you know, to us, ten thousand would be a steal for what it can do for us. Um, even five thousand would be a steal, um, and that will be our our retail price um, in the near future. The charter membership is an incredible steal compared to that. So we're going to do something really special. Um, just for tonight's session. And we're going to lower the price even more and take 10000 off the final list price. Okay, so this is li limited time. Okay. And it's going to include unlimited access to the Zillion dashboard with all the indicators, the trade trend uh, forecast indicator and the divergence cloud. My top two weekly Zillionaire trade alerts that go out every Monday. Uh, we we actually do uh, offer that service by itself without the indicators uh, for nine ninety seven for the year. Uh, but that's going to be also provided to you as part of the charter membership package. Um, you get access to our weekly live trade sessions each Tuesday. And looking forward to having you guys join tomorrow night. Uh, normally, we retail 
for that for 550. You get coaching for me on the weekly sessions. Okay. And again, normally my coaching starts at 1997 and goes up, um, but that's also included in the package. Whatever market, whatever asset class you like to trade, okay, equities, ETFs, futures, forex, and options, whatever, um, this is a critical tool to have to make uh, more confident trading decisions. Uh, as I mentioned, you get the two bonuses as well. Um, actually, there's a, it's really three bonuses because you're also going to get our Altos Quick Start training in addition to the ebook. Um, which we normally retail for 97. Okay, so again, almost $12,000 of value in this package, um, but we are slashing this big time um, and taking 90% off. So you're going to have a few options here. Um, you could do monthly. Okay, so over the course of a year, that would save you 90% off of the um, retail package price. Um, if you prefer, we have an annual option uh, and I'll give you the link so you, you'll be able to make the decision uh, here uh, that will save you a couple hundred bucks over the course of a year if you want to go annual. We also have a lifetime option. So if you prefer to just uh, not have like a monthly recurring um, subscription, you can just own everything for life. So you have three options. Um, we are going to limit this to 25 seats. Okay, so um, you can still get any of these items from us um, once the 25 seats are taken. Uh, but it will go back up to the retail price. So if you want to take advantage of the 90% discount, you can go to altostrading.com forward slash zillion. And uh, you'll have the option of which uh, package you want to choose. Uh, a lot of our members just want to uh, own the indicators, own the dashboard, have it for life. Um, so you can choose that as well. Um, so if you want and you'll need to take action. Again, we have 25 seats open. Um, once those are gone, the retail price will go back, it'll go back up to the full retail price, uh, altostrading.com forward slash zillion. Um, over a couple hundred people are going to see this. I realize that not everybody can get one of the 25 seats. Um, so, uh, just know that, uh, we want you to get in at this discount. We want you to have one of those 25 seats. Um, if you, for some reason, don't get one of them, um, and you, you really badly want in, uh, I'm going to give you our contact information. Uh, we can, uh, so you can, we have a great customer support team. Um, you can contact them and see if uh, we can work something with you guys. Cause I realize it's pretty limited here. Um, okay. So go to the, go to the link below altostrading.com forward slash zillion. And David actually put that in the chat for you guys. Um, once you go to that link, you're going to go to our secure checkout page. You can review everything you get as a charter member. Um, I want to thank you guys for your time, for being here. Um, it, it was an honor to share the top two indicators and other tools that I use uh, in my trading. Uh, looking forward to working with those of you who are uh, joining as charter members and hearing your success stories. That's really what makes all this worthwhile to me. Uh, makes it rewarding to hear that other people are having uh, great success. So uh, look forward to that. Um, this is our toll-free number. Our office is closed at the moment, 800-895-9348. Uh, uh, but you can give us a call um, when we reopen tomorrow. Um, you actually won't have to put that priority code in. Um, so it'll automatically uh, populate the discount for you when you go to the um, the order page. Uh, you can also email us, support at altostrading.com. And uh, we get back to you in a short period of time, definitely within the same day. Here's everything again that's included in the package. I know I went a little bit over here, um, but if it's okay with David, I, I can answer any questions if there are any. Um, I don't want to leave anybody hanging. Um, yeah, you're uh, you're closing out the day for us. So yeah, you can take as much extra time as you want here. Okay, fantastic. So if you guys have any questions I can answer for you, you can go ahead and put those in the chat box. Um, Let's take a look. I'm just going to kind of scroll back. I haven't been monitoring the chats. Um, let's see. Ryan said, so scalp. Um, yeah, I mean, if you can certainly scalp. The The indicator can be applied um, to very short time frames if you're a scalper. Um, let's see, just kind of scroll through here. The uh, So the discount is the 90% discount is 
grandfathered. So once you become a charter member, you'll always have that discount. Um, you know, we won't raise the the price on you. You're grandfathered in, um, but there's no con con contracts. So uh, you're also not locked in. You can obviously cancel any time. Most of our members stay with us for a very long time. Um, let's see, good question from Ryan. If I try out with the monthly price, can I then later upgrade to the lifetime? Great question. Yeah, you you can, Ryan. Um, as long as you get in at in the uh, one of the twenty five charter member spots, um, you can change your subscription. You can go to the, an annual or a lifetime at the at the discount. Um, it's just once the twenty five seats are taken, uh, you would lose that option. Um, getting a question about the hedge fund. Uh, yeah, it, yeah, we are accepting new in investors in the hedge fund. Um, you can just shoot us an email. Uh, let me give you that again, support at altostrading.com. Um, and uh, typically I'll, I'll set up a, a individual calls with prospective investors for the hedge fund, go over performance and um, fees and the whole structure of the fund. So yeah, there's the contact info. Um, how long does the software exist already? So I developed the trade trend algorithm. Oh, geez. I lose track of time. Um, would have been roughly maybe six, seven years ago. Um, and one of my great friends and partners, uh, Daniel, uh, developed the divergence cloud algorithm. Uh, and we built that into the Zillion dashboard, um, which we launched, uh, again, I'm terrible with time timelines, but not too long ago, uh, so it's it's still rel you know the last couple of years relatively new, um, but I would say roughly a couple of years ago. Um, and we're we're frequently updating the dashboard, adding in new features. Again, we just launched our our most recent update. We have another one coming um, here shortly as well. We're adding in some even more incredible tools that aren't quite in there yet, so I didn't go over them. But there's more. Um, so this is, this charter membership, um, is designed around the most recent updates and versions. Um, and again, there's another big update, which we're really excited about coming here in the next couple of weeks. Um, and actually when you, you'll automatically get all those updates, uh, when you join today, when we release the latest, uh, version, and we're going to be actually be holding a webinar, uh, to go through all that with you guys. So, uh, when you, when you get one of the charter member seats, uh, today, uh, you'll be invited to that and we'll uh, go through all those with you guys so you know what they are and how to use them. Um, let's see. Daniel, should... Daniel will be on tomorrow, by the way. Uh, oh, will he? Oh, great. Yeah. You, yeah. You, Daniel at Trading Indicators, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah Daniel Senig, yeah. Uh, tra Trading Indicators. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah he's at, a... at 6 p.m. tomorrow. 6 p.m. tomorrow. Yeah. He's great. You guys should listen to him. He's a, he's a brilliant programmer. So he actually did all the algorithmic programming for the trade trend indicator. So um, great guy. Uh, let's see, Cash said, I already subscribed to some of your services, but I don't have access to Zillion yet. Um, can I help? Uh, yeah, Cash, so you can certainly um, uh, add Zillion into any of the other uh, services that you have with us. Um, glad to hear that you are using our other services. Uh, great to hear. And you can definitely add Zillion in uh, just by going to the link. Um, will you be able to integrate this with other brokers like Monax or interactive brokers in the future updates? Um, great question. Yeah, we are um, always in the process of uh, working with uh, other potential brokers for integration. Um, so again, the broker integration is relatively new. We didn't start out uh, with that functionality. Um, so it's still, again, relatively young and we're uh, in the process of uh, reaching out to some of the bigger brokers. So you mentioned interactive brokers. Um, if you have a broker recommendation or one that you guys like to see, we are very open to feedback. Um, we try to really build everything into what we offer based on uh, you know, customer demand. We are here to make our members happy and if you guys have suggestions, we take those uh, into serious consideration. Uh, so yeah, good question. Uh, 
and uh, let us know, yeah, if there's any that you guys are interested in having added. Uh, a lot of it is dependent on whether the broker, you know, has the API functionality and um, there's a number of things we have to work out with the broker to make that all happen. Um, so we can look in any of those for you. Looks like that's all the questions uh, that have come through. Uh, really appreciate you guys being here. Um, thanks for letting me share my top two indicators with you uh, in the Zillion dashboard. Uh, again, thanks to David for having me here. And uh, he's put, the again, that uh, link in the chat for you. Um, let me just check here real quick before we sign off. Um, if we have, we do have uh, three spots left. So 22 out of the 25 have been claimed. So if you guys haven't gotten in yet, you still have a chance at the 90% discount with three spots left. Uh, last question, just this one just popped in, um, asking about um, platforms for the indicator uh, from Gene asking if it's on wealth charts. So we actually do offer um, the trade trend indicator. Um, so not not the divergence cloud, but the trade trend indicator um, as a standalone for other platforms, uh, some including broker platforms like Thinkorswim, TradeStation, NinjaTrader, um, TradingView, Metastock, and wealth charts. So yeah, uh, Gene, we do offer uh, the indicator by itself on wealth charts. Uh, and what I'll go ahead and do for you, um, I hadn't really planned to do this, but, uh, if you, if you claim one of the charter membership seats, uh, and you also want the trade turn indicator on one of those broker platforms or charting platforms like wealth charts, uh, we will go ahead and comp that for you and get you set up with access on an additional platform outside of Zillion as well. Um, great, great to hear Ryan, glad that you're signing up, looking forward to having you, um, in our inner circle and hearing your success stories. Great to hear. Um, so uh, guys, if you, one last quick thing, if you use the, if you select the monthly or the annual option, um, it should, uh, it should automatically give you access. So you're going to have like a username and password. If you, if you elect to go with the lifetime option and just own everything without a subscription, um, we'll need to set that one up manually. Uh, so give us, you know, a little bit of time again, the office is closed tonight. We'll have it set up. Um, if not, we, we have actually have somebody working overnight, um, on the tech side. Uh, so it will likely get set up overnight. Um, if not first thing in the morning, so you'll have access, uh, to all the tools in the dashboard, um, by early morning tomorrow, latest, uh, if you do the, the lifetime option. All right. Well, thanks again, everybody. I uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your, your day, um, evening, depending on where you are in the world, and a uh, great rest of the week in the markets. Uh, once again, thanks, David. I'll pass it back to you.